Hello, 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 everyone. Good evening, everyone. How is everyone doing tonight? We have a live stream, okay? This is what we got going on tonight. We have a live stream, and tonight we're going to talk about a legend, or some people would call him a legend, all right? Um, I'm just going to respect him because, you know, if this is true, if he is gone, you know, if he, you know, is, has slipped away, you know, I definitely want to, you know, you know, you know, talk about him in a good way. But I also want to, you know, really talk about, you know, talk about Kevin Samuels, because I think there's a lot to be, I think there's a lot to be said about Kevin Samuels. He is a, um, he is a very polarizing character. Let's just call him, let's just, you know say it like it is um he is someone who will speak and people will listen and applaud and about probably about the same 50 percent of the people will you know be upset and say hey you're wrong you're th you're this you're that that's just the type of person he is you know i'm not making this up or anything but you know you want to talk about um you know kevin samuels here he is so I'm just in here, um, you know, putting some tags over here. I noticed that um, people, um, a lot of people are jumping on this, um, you know, a lot of people are jumping on this whole topic. So I said, hey, let's jump on the bandwagon too. Let's just make a Kevin Samuels video. Now, I see a lot of people don't believe it. I don't know if um, if if that's what's going on. Um, I, I Everyone is saying Anton Daniels is confirming this. I think the last live stream was I did was talking about him. I think from now on, whenever I start doing live streams, I'm gonna talk about you know a particular topic instead of calling it you know, um, you know Tuesday night hangout. So tonight we're gonna talk about Kevin Samuels. Um, and look, I don't know if you guys know, but let's just go ahead and jump right into this because I see y'all just coming in here. So if you guys don't know who Kevin Samuels is, Kevin Samuels got very very popular in the middle of the pandemic. Okay. And during the middle of the pandemic, he just, um, you know, lots of people were following him. He was giving, like, relationship advice. And let's just call a spade a spade. Kevin Samuels was the type of person that was basically, would, would tell, would, would, would basically put a woman in, her, in in their place. Like, bottom line. I mean, just to, you know, and, you know, just to, to stop beating around the bush. He'd just go back and say, look, woman, this is why you ain't getting this. And this is why you ain't getting that. This is why you ain't got no man. Because you're doing this and you're doing that and you're doing this. And, you know, when I first started to watch, when I first started to listen to Homeboy, I was just like, I, I really didn't know what to say because I was kind of like, dang, like, can you, can you even talk like that? You know? <laughs> and then after a while, I just kind of started to, to go along with it. And I, I found his, in, in his content to be very, very, very entertaining because he would, um, you know, women would call in and they would have a particular problem. Now, some of these women were not the smartest women, but they would have a particular problem I'm talking about like, you know, I'm single and I'm looking for a man. OK. And <laughs> like some of these women would call up and like they had like basically nothing going for themselves, like basically nothing. And they're talking about, oh, I need a man that, that makes one hundred thousand dollars a year. And, you know, Kevin Samuels, the man is that, that he that he was. He would just come out and just basically tell them folks in plain English, look, ma'am, you ain't, and he would always say ma'am, right? He would just say, ma'am, you ain't got shit going on, right? You ain't finna get no man. You're 40 years old. You know, you weigh 300 pounds. you six foot tall. No man don't want you. He would just, just straight up tell them. Now, at the end of the day, I don't know too many men that'll just, you know, come out and say it like that, right? I just don't know too many men that'll just spit facts like that. A lot of men will just say, oh, yeah, you just keep looking for someone. Yeah, the, the, the right person will come. Kevin wasn't about that. Kevin was just going to go ahead and tell you, look, you look crazy as hell. Another thing that Kevin Samuels did that, that a lot of people got really upset, let's just talk about this. Hopefully, I don't want to offend anyone with this one. But Kevin Samuels was talking about the Bonnet crew. Now, if you're not a part of um, if you're not a part of the you know uh, African American community, there is this thing called the Bonnet, right? And and I don't see other cultures do this, right? But you see 
I'm not going to say who, but you see certain people in the African-American community, they'll go outside with the bonnet on. Basically, Kevin Samuels, like, blew this up, right? The bonnet was, like, this thing that you, that, like I say, a particular, um, like, certain people would put on their head in, in the African-American community. They would put it on their head to go to sleep. But that's something that you, you wear when you go to sleep. That's not something that you would, you know, just go to Whole Foods wearing, you know what I'm saying? But yet, women do, like, a lot. And I'm just going to keep it real. Like, as a dude, whenever I see, like, people in my community, like, out wearing that, like, it's always like, oh, my gosh, like, you, <laughs> it, it, you know, like, I've always kind of thought that, you know? But Kevin Samuels made it like like super viral, and like he was known for that for a minute. Um, what else was Kevin Samuels known for? Kevin Samuels was known. He was really notorious for talking about OnlyFans models, yo. Um, he, basically, he would always he had this this viral video talking about how after OnlyFans is over, Subway will be hiring, right? And it's this whole like stream he did. And like I said, he can't. He got popular during the, the middle of the pandemic, right? And during during the middle of the pandemic, you had that whole OnlyFans thing going on, you know. So you had a lot of women, like you know, doing that. And you know, the the person that that Kevin Samuels was and the things that he stood for, oh no, he he's just gonna be out against that. So he was really notorious for that. What else was Homeboy notorious for? Y'all, any of y'all um got any more got, got any other things in the comments or um. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, like just throw them down there. Yeah, and you know, I'm gonna keep it real. I think that there is a lot of truth to a lot of things that Kevin Samuel says. I understand that, you know, nowadays you got these women that say, like, you know, I don't need a man, right? Well, Kevin Samuels will come out and say, Well, you know, you're probably gonna die alone. Well, I actually believe a lot of truth to that, right? There's a lot of things that Kevin Samuels was teaching, like um, I'm just not going to necessarily incorporate into my life, you know. But at the same time, there's a lot of things that like he would talk about that like it would very it would be very, very difficult to argue and, and very difficult to debate. Like one live stream he had and he had this this woman like came up online and she was talking about how like. You know, how, like, e she, was, she was on the lines of, like, equal rights. And he was talking about how, like, you know, this is a man's world and men built this world. And basically, like, I, I don't know. You have to go back and find this live stream. But he, like, went through, like, he was naming, like, jobs, right? Just straight off the bat. Like, bam, 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 bam. Like, maybe, like, the top five most important jobs, and he was talking about how, like, men, 99.9% .9 like dominate all these jobs, right? And, you know, up until that point, like, I kind of always, you know, thought it was a man's world, but like, I, I, I didn't really think of it, like, and, and until, like, I was listening to some of his content and I was just like, bro. I mean, of course, like, women could do it, but like, are they doing it today? You know? <laughs> Um, but yeah, and then there's also the rumors about Kevin Samuels, yo, because you guys know there are so many rumors. There's rumors that he's not dead, right? Which I wouldn't, I don't know, I, it wouldn't surprise me if he's not, because with YouTube drama and how social media works, like, if someone, like, you know, hypes up that, you know, you know, oh, such and such, this happened to such and such, or that happened to such and such, and then it actually didn't. Like that can get that person like a lot of attraction, um, a lot of um traffic, you know, to them. So it, that could definitely be a um a, a thing, or like it's not even true, or like it's just kind of fake. Or it very well could be true, you know. But what we don't know is we don't really know any facts. Like we don't know like how he died. Or there's been some rumors that like he. Like died alone, but then there's also rumors that like he died on top of someone. I mean, I don't know. The, the, you know, the, the rumors are all over the place right now. But there, there hasn't been like a for real story. But um, yeah, yeah. Well, you're in California. 
you don't the inside scoop in Atlanta. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I don't have the inside scoop in Atlanta. That's so weird, Jermaine talking about him in the past tense. Well, I mean, it is kind of weird to talk about him in the past tense because if he's not I don't know if this is true. It's it, it is kind of messed up, you know. Jermaine, you took Kevin's advice. <laughs> You got a white woman. Is that what Kevin said? Was he telling like black men to like, like date outside their race? What, what, I, I, I'm just curious. Was Kevin Samuels really big about that? Was he, or was he really big with like? I couldn't exactly remember. People are saying it was a heart attack. Oh, it was a heart attack. The guy was toxic, but whatever. Okay, so you know. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm just going to keep it real. When you say he was toxic, I'm not going to sit here and say that, like, no, 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 he wasn't toxic. No, because I can definitely see some truth to to that to that statement because, yeah, um, I could definitely see some truth to that. Um, you know, when, when people say he was toxic. Definitely can be. Kevin was right on most things, but... He was a little toxic. Yeah, he was a little toxic. And I don't know. The thing, you know, guys, there's just a lot of people that are really, you know, wondering about this one because you guys know how, you guys know the things that Kevin Samuel stood for. You know, he stood for, like, family and, like, you know, people being together and, you know, successful you know, he, he stood for success, right? He even carried himself in a very, um, you know, you know, suits and looking nice all the time. So he was definitely promoting like this image that I don't know. It was a, an image that I would see a lot of people out there that that wouldn't like, right? Um, a lot of a lot of people wouldn't like the image that he's promoting. Um, you know. Kevin, I don't think Kevin was toxic. There was a lot of truth to what he said. Most just didn't like the delivery. Okay, yeah, I totally get the delivery. I think the way he delivered his his the way he the, the way he delivered it that way was for engagement, right? Because when you sit there and you you argue with like a woman online, yo. Guys are gonna go crazy like watching that, and then of course women are gonna go crazy watching that too. Oh my gosh, look look how he talked to her, and then what is that gonna do? That's only gonna get other women to say, "Oh, you know, I'm college educated, I know how to speak. I'm gonna call him and I'm gonna hit him with this, right?" But then that never works because he's the he's the star of the show. He's not gonna let you, you know, run away with the with, with this dream. You know, even if you do like come out and pull out facts, like at the end of the day, like you know, it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be the show. It's gonna be his show. You know, my brother was a high school. My brother has a high school diploma. His wife has a master's. You love who you love. That's very true. You don't, yeah, that's very true. I mean, I would say. Um, another thing that Kevin Samuels would, would would definitely promote. Now, this is something I'm going to keep it real. I do not necessarily. I, I do not agree with this at all. I can kind of see the whole. I can kind of see how this could work for some people, but like you know, telling this to the masses, I think it's just a not so great idea. When he would when he would say like, okay, you need to be a high valued man, right? And then his definitions of being a high valued man. It was like to make like a hundred thousand dollars a year, but if you lived in other places, you'd have to make like two, three hundred thousand. You would need to be in a type of place where you're easily to, where you you can easily make connections. Basically, like it was like a list of things, and you, yeah, it's great to like aim for some of those things, but then at the same time, to expect like every man to like achieve these things is you know i would say quite un unrealistic if you ask me because not 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 every dude can do that you know 
And then uh, another thing too is you don't. I don't know. M money, money's not everything, yo. Like money is not everything, and uh, w w especially uh, w w I don't know. W w one big thing in the in the African American community on YouTube is like if you don't make money, you ain't shit. That's basically what what is being pumped out there. Like a lot of like like actual like for real black YouTubers I follow, a lot of them push that. Some of them don't. Like I, I tell you, someone who actually don't push it. I don't know if you guys know um Dr. Boyce Watkins, right? He like I follow him. He actually don't push this lifestyle. You know, you never see him coming up in like you know fancy clothes and like flaunting. You never see him, you know, got five Rolexes on. You know, um, you, you know he he's very like straightforward. You know. He's not, you never see him talking about, oh, I got me a new Mercedes. Like, D Dr. Boyce Watkins, I never really hear, hear him, you know, talk like that, you know? Um, I'm trying to think of another, like, uh, black YouTuber that don't. You know, but I'm, I'm talking about the ones that are, like, you know, in, in the for real, like, black community space, you know? Because there's definitely a lot of other black YouTubers that don't. Jermaine, you're a high value, man, in your own entrepreneurial creative work. Yeah, I think a high value could could have a lot of different meanings too, because it just really depends, you know. High value was just about money. He always said money don't make you high value, man. No, I guess money don't make you a high value, man. Kevin spoke on men who made fifty k. No, he was always like, you need to make like at least a hundred k, you know. He would always push that. And, you know, I'm going to keep it real. To, to, to promote, you need to make 100K. It's not necessarily a bad thing to promote because, like, look at look at prices around the country, right? I mean, where do you live? Do you live in, like, the middle of Alabama or do you live in, like, Los Angeles? You know? So, like, $100,000 a year is, like, you know, that's not a really a, a bad thing to promote. I mean, I guess if you live in Detroit, it's going to be a little bit different to pump out a hundred grand a year versus if you live in like Manhattan, you know. But it really depends on what you're doing. Like we live in the work from home culture now, so you don't you you can live in the middle of nowhere and make money on the internet and still have the same success, you know. I think I think by high value he meant alpha. Or a provider, someone who can provide for a woman if he wants to. Okay, so okay, the whole the okay the thing about being high valued and providing for a woman, right? I'm just gonna keep it real with that. If you're the type of dude that you you know make five hundred thousand dollars a year, right? And let's say you even live in a place like San Francisco for crying out loud. Well, what you can very well do, and I think this is, I could be wrong, but this is kind of what I pick up from Kevin Samuels. Basically, like, if you make, like, X amount of money a year, you can basically get a woman, and if she ain't got a job, she's kind of, like, you know, kind of stuck, right? Because you're taking care of her, so she's relying on you. Well, since she's relying on you, you can sort of, you know, do whatever you want, because if she leaves... She's going to leave you because she ain't got a job. And she's now she's relying on you. And this gives you even more power because now you can do whatever you want. If you want to go sleep with this other woman, go sleep with that other woman. And you don't even have to hide it as much because if she finds, if your other chick finds out and she's 100% relying on you, basically like, you know, she's kind of like your slave, you know, you, you know, she's 100% relying on you. Well, she's, she probably won't leave. Right. And this is why, you know, when you get into like the 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 more and more money people make, the less and less um the the divorce rate goes down because people just deal with that shit. You know, the wife been married for 20 years to the husband, and she knows that he about once a month goes out and sleeps around with another woman. He's been he's been doing that for 20 years. But she's okay with that because she knows that 
If she leave him, what is she going to do? You know, she hasn't worked in 20 years. She's been a housewife for 20 years. You know, she's been going shopping and getting her nails done and getting massages and shit and getting a new car every four years that he's paying for. She doesn't do anything. So at the end of the day, what's she going to do? The dude has all the power because he can have her and then he can go like, you know, sleep around with other chicks. That's kind of what I picked up, you know. Bill Gates and Melinda Gates. Yeah, oh, yeah. Bill Gates and Melinda. Th that's a very high-profile case. That's not your average, like, that's not your average, um, that's not your average breakup, bro. <laughs> like, that's a massive breakup. Jermaine, you don't go live anymore? Um, I don't really just, like, I still go live, but, like, now when I go live, like, I'm gonna have to have something to go live for, right? So last couple of days I went live talking about Anton Daniels, right? I noticed after I went live, that video actually got more views. Like after, after I was like after it was already online, right? And then since this Kevin Samuels thing, you know, was going on, and I was looking at other people like you know making videos, I was like, yo, let's jump on this bandwagon. So you know, I'll probably go live like if I have something to talk about, but like I don't think I'm just gonna do like random streams anymore. Because that's uh, that's not so great. Um, give me advice, Jermaine. I want a job where I can work my own schedule. Work your own schedule. Look at the gig economy. Yeah, check out the gig economy. Phoebe in the house. Mark Zuckerberg and his wife. Is a doctor that compliment each other? Yeah. I make sixty five. 70k a year but i want another side hustle oh yeah you can definitely find some other side hustles yo you know i would yeah i don't know women make money i don't need a man well i don't know i think that that yeah i don't know Time, times are changing you know Times are definitely changing. It is a lot harder nowadays to have a family versus it was 20 years ago, 30 years ago. So what Kevin Samuels is pushing is much harder to do today than it was like 30 years ago. So that's just something else to, to throw out there, you know? Teach me how to make 100K a year. Make a hundred k a year. I'm gonna keep it real. To make a hundred k a year is not that hard, yo. I'm gonna tell you how to make a hundred k a year real easy. You need to make about two thousand dollars a week. You need to make about two thousand dollars a week. So let's just break this down in plain English here, right? So to make two thousand dollars a week, you you need to have some things going on. All right, maybe you got one job. Okay, maybe you got one job and you work at Google and you make two thousand dollars a week, right? But if you ain't got one job, you gotta you, you maybe you maybe you can get five hundred dollars a week from here, five hundred dollars a week from here, five hundred dollars a week week from here, and a couple hundred here, a couple hundred there. That's another way to equal two thousand dollars a week. For example, you know, um, for for example, let's say you're you make YouTube videos, right? And let's say you make like a thousand dollars a month, you know. With, with your YouTube videos. So now divide that by four, that's two fifty a week. So to make a hundred thousand dollars a year, you now you only need to make fifty you only need to make seventeen hundred dollars a week, seventeen fifty a week, because now you got the two fifty coming from the YouTube, right? Now they will expand that. Let's just say let's just say you know you you getting a thousand dollars a month from YouTube. And then let's say you're getting like five hundred dollars a month from Facebook, right? So, you know, you see how these numbers can easily change. Yeah. Once you have, once you have certain, um, you know, once you have certain streams of income, now to bridge the gap, you only have to work less, you know, or do something that, that you can charge more for, right? So that's one way to get to 100K a year. Break it down to like the week, 2,000 a week. And then try to figure out, yo, how can I make 2000 a week? 
Now, you might not be able to make $2,000 a week at your job because maybe at your job, you only make $900 a week, right? So if you can only make $900 a week at your job, let's say you work 35 hours a week and you make $900 a week, okay? Now you need to figure out, you know, how to make, you know, another $1,000 a week. You know, maybe you, you know, maybe you do Uber Eats. Maybe you sell on eBay. Um, you think I can make money off of Uber Eats deliveries? Okay, I'm going to keep it real on Uber Eats deliveries, yo. Keep it super real on those. They're going to vary, bro. <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's, uh, that's like a, that's, they're going to vary. It's like a hustle, y'all. You know, that is like a hustle. Um, keep your topic relation, keep your topic on relationships and Kevin Samuels respectful. No, um, you know, I'm definitely not, um, I'm definitely not, um, like bashing Kevin Samuels or anything. I mean, I totally understand homeboy had a different, um, he had a different way of, he had a different message, right? And like I said, I don't necessarily I, I agree with like all of his message, but at the same time, you know, I totally respect the guy. Or watching them, you know, watching them scale up in the pandemic, dude. It was like super dope. It was super dope, yo. Mm -hmm. We got people over here talking about food delivery. If y'all are like watching this video, I um, like I'm a YouTuber. I live in San Francisco, and um, yeah, I used to do a lot of Uber Eats deliveries. So I got people in the chat. They like love to talk about Uber Eats deliveries. Where I'm talking when I'm talking about something else. <laughs> um let's let's see Kevin Samuels yo I don't know anybody else here about anything different about him anybody else here about any rumors like because I was hearing I heard one crazy rumor yo someone people are saying like they got rid of Kevin Samuels because he was telling people to like get married and stuff like that you know and he wasn't going against, like, you know, a lot of the, like, new age stuff. Like, he wasn't, you know, he wasn't, he was basically for the family. So I heard that they had to get rid of him for that, you know. But then I also heard that, like, you know, this is just a big, you know, publicity stunt. And, like, he just, you know, he's just, like, disappeared or, or something. You know, when when the facts aren't out there, people sort of make up things, you know. Kevin Samuel's got that boot. What's good, Jermaine? Oh, are you deleting this live stream? No, I'm not going to delete. I'm not going to delete this live stream. <laughs> no, the reason why I want to delete this live stream is because it's, um, okay, so check this out. Um, last week when I did the video, no, earlier this week when I did the video about Anton Daniels, so I noticed that the video got like way more views like after I had already uploaded it. That's because it had Anton Daniels in the title. We're talking about Anton Daniels, right? So people actually had a reason to go watch that video. Now, if I would have named that, that same exact video, if I would have named it Hanging Out on Monday Night, guess what? It would not have got that many views because who's going to go back and watch a video that's like titled Hanging Out on Monday Night, you know? So, Yeah. So I, I won't delete this one. And for the most part, we are talking about Kevin Samuels for, for you know, for, for that. I heard a rumor that he was on the GL bar. That was a common rumor. Well, you know, whenever you hear about these, he was on the DL rumors. You always hear about that in, in the in the in the black community. Uh, you always hear about that. Like that is a common common like lie or, or rumor that. That goes around, you know. Oh, he's gay. He's gay. They say that about everyone, yo. They say that about everyone. Like, you know, Jay Z. He's gay. Little Wayne. He's gay. Oh, this other rapper. Oh, he's secretly gay. Like, I don't know why that is such a, a, a big. I don't know why that's such a big, big, big. You know, big thing. I mean, maybe he was. Maybe he wasn't. 
I remember he did have this video of where this he was like live streaming and like it was someone in the bed. And people were saying, oh, yeah, he's gay because he had someone in the bed. But then think about this here. If he was really, really smart, he could have just easily like made that video. Like he could have easily like set that up so people would talk about it, you know. Jermaine, do you listen to um NSFS content? Okay, so I used to. I used to. Now I wasn't the type of person that is um I wasn't the type of person that's like cheering it on, like, yeah, 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 this is the way it should be. But um, I was definitely getting a lot of uh it's definitely getting a lot of humor out of it because I thought a lot of it was like, oh yeah. But then I'm gonna keep it real, like it, it's kind of one of those things that like after you watch videos like that for like a couple weeks. I mean, you can't just sit there and keep watching it, you know. I thought of that too, thanks. Yeah, I wonder how 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 people are gonna talk about it. Like people like Tasha K, like people that hated him. I mean, are, are people gonna be like popping bottles of wine and stuff, like drinking alcohol? Like, yeah, because I don't know. I wouldn't celebrate anyone's death, you know. Um, it showed he died an hour ago. Oh, an hour ago? Oh, so Twitter is on fire right now, huh? Yeah, this is definitely not a good, not a bad time to go live stream, you know? Let's see. Let's see what, let's actually see what's trending on Twitter. Number one is Kevin Samuels. Yep. Mm, all Kevin Samuels did was tell broke men and overweight women to be realistic. Y'all out here acting like he was a scar from the Lion King. Y'all weird. You know? Hmm. You know, I'm going to keep it real. Like, he... um. He did bring a lot of people back down to reality, you know, like, especially a lot of like, like, I don't know, dude, if you're watching this video and you're not like a part of, of like, if you're not a part of the African-American community, um, there is this, this thing in the African-American community where like, where like women will like just want a dude that makes like way more money than them. Maybe, maybe this is in every culture, right? I just notice it, it. I just notice it in my culture because I'm part of my culture, right? And uh, otherwise, like you know, they won't even talk to you. And then when you ask them what they got going on and what they're doing, they basically ain't doing shit. They basically ain't got nothing going on. Only thing they got, only thing they can bring to the table is like themselves. You know, you know, it's like I ain't got no money, I ain't got no job, and that's just like so unrealistic. It's so unrealistic. Like a dude that's making $300,000 a year. Why in the fuck would he want to date you when you work at Starbucks, yo, and you pour coffee all day, and you deserve a dude that makes $300,000 a year, and you're not going to talk to anyone that, that 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 makes no less, you know? I mean, gosh, you know, some of this shit is insane, you know? Or you got to have a Mercedes, like, to talk to me, you know? Some some of this stuff is really it, it's really insane, you know what I mean? And expect three hundred k at home and clean dishes, bro. Yes, I'm not African American, but saw that black women saw that black women 
mistreat black men a lot and act all cute in front of other male races in my opinion um yeah i don't mean yeah i don't know um yeah um i don't know i mean i guess it yeah i guess it really depends on the woman right i guess it, i really i think it really depends on the woman because you do have that that's not all that's not all black women for sure there is a different there is a type right there is a different there is a type i think it makes a difference when i think it makes a difference it's just all it's about all how you raise basically it's all about how you're raised if you are raised in an area where you got all that going on well that that you're going to be a product of, of that environment right but if you are raised in a more like progressive place, maybe you won't pick up that whole. Maybe you won't pick up that whole culture. <laughs> that is American culture, not just black people. White women marry up, and no one cares. Oh, but okay. So look, I'm not a relationship counselor, but one thing I would say is one thing I've learned just from living in this country and dating different races. There are races of people out there that will date you before you blow up and before you come, before you, you know, they, they will date you when you're working at Starbucks, right? And they will hang on to you. And they'll, and they'll stay by your side and they'll watch you grow, right? They'll watch you grow from here and there and there and here and there. There are people out there that are like that, yo. But there's some folks out there, they don't want to see you grow. They want you and they want you to have it all, like right there. And I think when it comes to a lot of relationships, right? And when it comes to a lot of a lot of relationships, I think that that's where a lot of women miss out the most, um, and especially in, I don't want to necessarily say the black community, but the black community. I think that that's where it, where it misses out the most because, I mean, j just me, just trying to talk to like black women out here, like number one, I don't really see that many black women, and number two, it's like you're either a sweetheart and you're already taken, okay? And what I mean by a sweetheart, I'm talking about you're a freaking genuine person, okay? You, you probably got good character. You probably got good heart, right? You probably come from a good background. But the, 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 this type is always taken, okay? But then there's this other type that can sort of appear to be that way but then they just want like all the flash they want you to you got to do this and you got to do that you got to have that you got to have this now those type of women could be you know kind of more um what do you say maybe they can be more like a street type chick or it could just be like a black chick that's like educated you know that like you know works like you know, an actual job, you know, it goes both ways, you know, <laughs> you know, so you, yeah, it goes both ways <laughs> because I remember once, like it was this one, this one black chick I met off Tinder, right? And she lived in Oakland. She lived in like, like the Oakland Hills. I remember hanging out with her and she worked, she worked for a tech company and she was so incredibly hard to talk to right we we ended up dating like we're not end up dating but we, we ended up going on a date but then after we after we like like hung out she was basically like she was basically like letting me know that like you know oh if you don't do this like we can't really hang out and then it was always like something like that just it's like something like, okay, no, I, 
no, I don't have a fucking yacht that we can go to on the weekends, you know? Like, no, I don't. Like, I'm sorry. If you don't want to hang out, we don't have to hang out. But, like, no, I don't have a fucking cabin in Tahoe. Like, no, but, you know, if you have someone else that you can hang out with that has a, a cabin in Tahoe, just go hang out with them in the cabin in Tahoe, you know? But, no, I don't have, I just, no, I, I don't have a cabin in Tahoe. <laughs> you know, or you can, like, hang out with, like, a street chick that, like, wants to, you know, wants you to, you know, just buy them stuff all the time and just want you to, you know, they want to just use the shit out of you and play games on you, right? So you got that. But then you also have the flip side, the ones that are taken, and then also the ones that are, you know, the le legitimate sweethearts. You can, like, the you can tell who those are. They're all around the city. I'm talking about the, the black women. They're all around the city. Like, they are. Like, they, they exist. But once again, <laughs> they're probably taken because they're sweethearts, you know? What happened to Liberty? Liberty was not who I was talking about, by the way. But Liberty was... I don't know. Liberty was a little too country for me. I'm just going to keep it real. She was a little too country for me, like. <laughs> and I also felt like, yeah, we would make a great couple, but like, we're like, but I don't know, I don't know what to say. That. <laughs> That's not a relationship. That that is a relationship that Kevin Samuels would approve of. <laughs> Jermaine, that other chick wanted a sugar daddy. Well, see, I don't necessarily think that she wanted a sugar daddy because you got to think a sugar daddy is an older dude, right? It's a certain type of woman that wants a sugar daddy. Like, all women don't want to be with an old dude. There's a lot of women that just wants to be with like a single a dude their age, but they just want the dude their age to, to basically be the sugar daddy. You know, the dude their age to, to, you know, buy them the stuff like the sugar daddy would, who is Liberty. So Liberty was this, um, Liberty was, I don't know if Liberty was vegan. Liberty was, she was this black girl who um, was very, um, I don't really know what to say, but she was very like, um, She's very like bubbly, right? Very friendly. We end up going to like this country bar together, and she like literally knew every single song. And after that, I kind of didn't want to really hang out with her anymore. <laughs> like, no joke. Like, I, that was just like a little too much. She knew like every single song, and she also knew like everyone there. And it was this like country place in Oakland. And I was just like, no, oh my gosh, dude. And she was really into tech, and she was kind of on the dorky side, um, w which was kind of cool. But, um, yeah, we didn't really hang out that much. And then there was the flight attendant chick who basically, she we talked on the phone for like an hour. This is another black chick I, I tried to talk to like a couple years ago. Bro, I'll never forget this dude. We talked on the phone for like... I want to say like an hour, two hours, like like we, we messaged each other because we had like, we were in like the same country at like the same amount of time and we were talking about our different experiences, right? So we we're talking for like an hour plus on the phone and this chick flies out to San Francisco the next day to like come hang out, right? Now, when she flew out, like... I don't know what I was thinking because she was like a flight attendant, right? So it was like no big deal for her to fly out. So we flew out. I remember picking her up from the airport. We drove up to Twin Peaks and she she like brought beers from the plane and we drank the beers at Twin Peaks. And like that was the only time we hung out because she was just like, oh yeah, so I want to like, you know, if I come back, like can I stay at your place, you know? And I was like, yeah, but when are you, like, like what, for, like, a couple of days or for how long? And she was like, oh, I want to stay for, like, a month. And I was like, oh, okay, so you were, you just want to stay for a month. And, like, 
like, uh, like, are you still going to be working or like what's going on? And it just got really weird. It's like, aren't you a flight attendant? You know, and she really was a flight attendant. Like I totally believed her and like her Instagram definitely proved that she was a flight attendant, but like, it was more like she just basically like wanted me to like give her money and like let her stay in my place for free. Or she just like, you know, does her flight attendant like job. And who knows? She probably has like a boyfriend in like every city that she does this to because if she's a flight attendant, like she's always going to different places. So I don't know that that was just my whole deal out here. And then or you can just date someone from another race. And I don't know. It, it might be a little bit different. <laughs> Flight attendant is usually badass, though. She's not adventurous, at least. She trusted you. She trusted me. We didn't really even hang out that long. Like, you know, it wasn't that type of thing. She was trying to smash, relax, then leave. Yep, exactly. Different dudes in different area codes. Yep. I've dated rich men, broke men, all races. I prefer very intelligent men with nice teeth. <laughs> intelligent men with nice teeth. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Oh, but back to Kevin Samuels, yo. I know folks probably clicking on here talking about, yo, what happened to Kevin Samuels? I don't know, dude. That's crazy. Kevin Samuels died. They said he had a heart attack, dude. And then they also hear that he died like alone, but then also hear he died on top of someone. So, I mean, which is that he died on top of someone? Like, were they having sex or something? Like, well, I just, I don't know, I'm trying to figure this one out. Did you line dance? No, I didn't line dance. No. You gotta have all your teeth. <laughs> all your teeth. That's one that Kevin Samuels would definitely say. And another one of Ke Kevin Samuels like lines, he would always drop. He would always drop the Big Shirley. Yo. He would always talk about Big Shirley. Now, they say he got Big Shirley from, you know, another movie or if someone else. It doesn't matter if he got it from someone else. It's just the way he would just drop it out there, you know? Had a heart attack while driving. You had a heart attack while driving. Imagine Kevin Samuels stream starting now. Calm. Gotcha. Yeah, right. Right. I, would, would he go in crazy on, on Twitter like this? I don't know. Yeah, Twitter is going crazy, yo. Yeah, people are celebrating, which is messed up. But then I'm going to keep it real. Whenever y'all see... Okay, I'm going to tell y'all right now. If you just go to Twitter, right? There's just some, something I noticed, right? If you just go to Twitter, type in Kevin Samuels and just scroll down, right? If you, I'm not going to, like, y'all know, I don't mean to get into politics or anything, but just, just scroll down, right? When you scroll down, find someone who has something negative to say about him, okay? And then just look at their Twitter profile. It'll, it'll tell you a lot, you know? Huh. Dude, they are trolling him like crazy. Like I don't even want to use Twitter anymore for a couple of days. Like they are literally trolling him like crazy. I mean, I guess I'm making a YouTube video talking about it, you know. Jermaine, what is Twitter saying? So Twitter is all over the place. Like he's number one tw 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 trending for one. And then, you know, you, you got people saying, you know, you know, things like, oh, I'm going to miss Kevin Samuels. But then you also got people saying, you know, oh, yeah, he just profited off of talking about black women, you know. So you, you got it going both ways.
And then does I'm I'm keeping her on this one. Does Kevin Samuel's death change anything? Let's talk about that one for a second. Hey, hey guys, does trap does does his death change anything? Like does it does it does it change anything in the black community? No. No, you're still gonna have, you know, guys doing what they're doing, you're still gonna have women doing what they're doing. So no, I guess it didn't really change anything in the black community. Yes, teeth gotta be on point. Teeth gotta be on point. I think I'm gonna get ready to get off here. We've been talking about um Kevin Samuels for a minute, so I want to ask y'all something. Y'all like those inspirational videos, or y'all like y'all don't? Hmm. I'm just curious. You know these bullshit videos I've been putting out. They don't even get that many views, but I've actually made quite a bit of them. I haven't released them yet, but I've made quite a bit of them now. Yeah, I think he has helped a lot more people. I would love to. You know what's really annoying? I have Safari, but I can't go to YouTube on Safari. It's so annoying. You dig the inspirational videos? Hey, I got another one. I got an, I got another one. I, I, I'll play right now. Because I've been listening to them like over and over before I even released them. <laughs> because I like them I like them so much. Um let's see. Oh, you wanna see a portfolio? How's my portfolio? Um, I sold like all my blink charging because I got pinched. Um, and then I also I don't know, my portfolio is this is it's all right, you know, it's not amazing. I'm down so much on Robin Hood. Okay, all right, here we go. I'm just going to play one. This one's not going to come out tomorrow. This one's probably going to come out in a couple of days. Like, I, So my whole schedule for coming out with videos, so like this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make vlogs. I'm going to make inspirational videos. I'll make walk into it videos. And I'll mix those. So... I'm not going to do, I'll try not to do like vlog, 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 vlog. I'll try to do like vlog and then inspirational and then maybe a walking tour and then a vlog. And then I'll try to mix it. So like, cause I know some people don't like the walking tours. Some people just don't watch, don't watch them. And then I also know some people don't watch the vlogs, but the vlogs have did the best out of anything so far. I think the vlogs are doing really good. Um, but yeah, here's that video. Um, we can listen to it real fast. Oh, hold on. Let me cut my Bluetooth off. Change the plan. Never change the goal. What up, Internet World? It's your boy, Jermaine, back with another video. This video, let's jump right into it. Change the plan. Never change the goal. All right? So, every now and then, you may have a plan. Okay? You may have a plan, right? to get to a certain place, right? You have a plan to drive from California to New York, right? But the goal is to get to New York. But the plan to get from California to New York, you got lots of different plans you can take, right? So some people in life, they have a plan. Maybe they want to own a business, right? Maybe they want to retire early. Maybe they want to send their kids off to college. Like a better college. Okay, cool. So I was just playing a little sneak preview. Um... So how did he die? Um, let's see. They say it was a heart attack. Yeah, that's what they say. People and people from foreign countries probably enjoy those walking tours a lot. Yes, I would imagine. I would imagine, yo. Know, uh, older people like them too, and then people that just moved away, people that used to live in the city and just moved away. They're, they're they like them too. Someone was saying that they um. Hey, I'm gonna tell y'all a video. I'm gonna tell y'all videos. I like have come obsessed with. I like driving videos. 
like you know them videos of people just in the car with the camera on in the car and then driving on the freeway i like them videos bro yeah dude i like those videos like it's this one video this dude's driving a tesla from um los angeles to san francisco it's like six and a half hours yo i have that shit playing in the background like all the time dude like all the time like <laughs> it's a trip i'm such a dork when it comes to this video like i even know the part of the video of where he's driving the car and he takes his shoes off because he's wearing some nike dunks you know like i'm such a dork when it comes to those videos yo like i i, I love those videos it's like the weirdest thing but like you know <laughs> anyway um yeah i don't know so what else is going on everyone <laughs> Tell me another story. Alex, so you don't want your stream? Like, I, I I popped in your stream for a minute. I thought you was talking about, I thought you was talking about um, Kevin Samuels. Food delivery videos with the GoPro on their helmet. It's so cool. Tesla videos are cool. Yeah, I like the Tesla videos. Huh? <laughs> well, because this one is like the car is driving by itself. So that's another thing that makes it super dope because the car is like driving by itself. Yeah, food delivery helmet. I never did food delivery helmet videos. I would always just, just do that, the, um, the camera here, you know. You could do it on top, but like, I don't know. It's different if you do it on top. Tesla driving around San Francisco and doing debugging is cool. Yeah. Those Tesla videos, that's what I'm talking about. Jermaine, your background, someone is laughing out loud. Oh, you guys can hear that? I didn't I didn't know if you guys can hear that or not. Yeah, I think there's some people. It's, it sounds like a bunch of people in the hallway. It sounds like a like a bunch, like seven people. It's like a bunch of people in the hallway, yeah. Because if there's ever people um like right in front of the door and if they're like talking, yeah, it, it can get pretty loud. <laughs> if ever if anyone here ever plays that game, remember is try to imagine Jermaine doing the podcast and future vlogs around the city. Mm. Yeah, that would be something. I need to get a 360 camera so I can do 360 videos around the city. I think that would be really cool to do 360 videos. That would be cool. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna get off here. It's been it's been about an hour, you know. We we, we talked on um Kevin Samuels. I know we talked about other random stuff. Jermaine, are you still with your GF? Yeah, we're still together. Oh well, yeah, we're still together. I mean Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we got some pretty cool things planned up this weekend. No not this weekend, but this month. You know, we're gonna do some some pretty cool things. You know, but uh, we're still we're still together. Yeah. I um yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh guys, check this out. This is something like super random, but like I don't know if you guys ever heard of OnlyFans TV. But I um I actually just got on OnlyFans TV. <laughs> what OnlyFans TV is, it's is not like what you think. It's just it's kinda like YouTube. You just upload like videos like that. That's something else I, I started doing recently. It's actually kind of cool because there's a bunch of other creators on there. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. Like, comment, and subscribe. We're like right at one hour, so that's, that's pretty cool. So yeah, see y'all later. Bye-bye, everyone. I want y'all to have a good night. Bye-bye, love and chicken grease. And I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.